The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. From the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. The one who comes from above is above all. The one who is of the earth is earthly and speaks of earthly things. But the one who comes from heaven is above all. He testifies to what he has seen and heard. But no one accepts his testimony. Whoever does accept his testimony certifies that God is trustworthy. For the one whom God sent speaks the words of God. He does not raise on his gift to the, of the Spirit. The Father loves the Son and has given everything over to Him. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. But whoever disobeys the Son will not see life. But the wrath of God remains upon him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Whoever believes in the Son has eternal life. In the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verses 15 to 20, Moses set before the Israelites the choice between life and death. To choose to obey God was to live, and to choose to disobey God was to die. In the Gospel, the choice between life and death is concretized for us in the choice between to believe in the Son or not to believe in Him. To believe in the Son is to obey Him and thus to live, while whoever disobeys the Son will not see life. And this is so because the Son is God like the Father, one God with the Father and the Holy Spirit. On our part, because we are people who profess faith in the Son, we believe in Jesus. The challenge for all of us is to be truly a Christian, not just in name, but also in deed. That the true believer in Jesus is not the one who says only Lord, Lord, but the one who does the will of Jesus and follow his way of life.